review of our Nemox Angus RDA. Look at it, it looks so nice. I love this. And just a quick heads up, guys, I really love this thing right here. I love this. And thank you so much, Carl Deason, for trusting me to do the review of Angus RDA. And thank you for sponsoring this video. So let's get on to unboxing it. This is how the box looks like. I'm so excited because I've tried using this for over a week and it has performed so well. So this is how the box looks. This is the unit look and we have the logo of Nevox and the Angus RDA on top. We have um, like a triangle down here that says black which is our Angus RDA color. And on the side, we have their social media sites. On the other side, we have Nevox and their scratch and check to see the legitimacy of the product. So on the back, it says their content. It also says the barcode and information about the company. So not much around anymore. So let's try to unbox this. And you guys, this comes with the plastic seal, but I just had to remove it so I can check the device performance and to check and review the product. So this is how it looks without that sleeve. Look at that. It looks so sexy. I'll just remove my fingerprint around. Just show you how shiny it is. Look at that. It looks so shiny. And this is our Angus RDA. So this is my first time to unbox and do a review of an RDA product. And look at this guys, look! You can switch your RDA to a different RDA if you, can, if you can buy a new one. But mine still works so well so don't need one yet. And let's look what the other contents are. This is Along the box. So it has a spare tank top. I don't know what called, what's this called. Um, it says an extra mouthpiece. Okay. Mouthpiece. Okay. That's called a mouthpiece. So what's along the box are three N I A T foils, we have four mesh foils, we have one bag of bacon cotton, we have a screwdriver, extra orange, screw and spring, a USB cable, and the user manual. So, let's look at the other content of the box. And this is our USB cable. It's quite short. It's pretty much the same length, I guess, with the Edgeo pod. But, just to show you, it's this long. And this is a USB Type-C cable that comes along with charging for our Angus RDA. So I think they are limiting the length of the cable just to make sure that you guys won't use it while it's charging just to keep you safe. So let's look at the other content of the box. This is extra cotton bacon that we have and I'll just show you guys this is so nice it has an aglet see it looks so nice it comes with freebies already so the rest of the box has this it says mesh coil 0.18 ohms and the NIAT is 28 gauge and it's a 0.25 ohms meeting so I have used their mesh coil for now so this is how it looks it has four of them but I've already used one so I have three spare left we have a screwdriver we have a spare o-ring and we also have three foils that comes along with it this is how it looks Three of those. We also have an extra spring and an extra screw. So not much left in this box, but the 
there are also things that comes along the package. So there are cards underneath. So we have... Okay. We have a user manual and look how cute it is again. It's so tiny. See? It's just so tiny. But this gives you a guide on how to build your RDA it's down here up until here. So the rest are guidelines on um, the lead indicator and how to switch the wattage and their performance. The other card that comes along with it is their warranty card. So you can use this in case but hopefully not. So this is our device. Look at it. So this is my current build. I'm using the mesh foil there. And for the juice, currently we are using Freebase. We are using Yakulito's Lemon Lime Yakult flavor. Maybe it's just because it's one of my current favorite tea juice right now. So let's try the device. So how to turn it on? You just click it five times. We have a firing button right here. So one, two, three, four, five. It turns on and it is blinking green, meaning say it is full charge, I guess. So it has three LED indicators right here. So it has three different modes of firing. So you can adjust your wattage from low, medium to high. So currently it is lighting, it's blinking one green light. And if you want to switch your wattage, you just click the firing button three times to switch it. And it becomes three LED lights firing, you can see. If you want to switch it to medium, you just click it three times again. You just see two lights blinking. And this, I think, has been changing from higher to lower. So three, and then two, and then one, then goes back to three. So let's try to fire. So first, I'll be firing it at, mm, I'll say low first. So this is how it looks. And there's this thing, you guys. I love how crisp, how it sounds when you fire it. I, I don't know if you can hear it, but I'll try. See? It's so crisp. So just show you guys without the mouth. This is firing at low. Low, guys. Low. See? So let's try firing it on medium first. So switch it from low to medium. See? And this is how it works. Can you hear how crisp it is? Oh, gosh. This is firing just at medium, guys. So let's try firing it at full high power. We'll just switch it from there. So it's firing at three lights. I'll just put some juice. Show you how crisp it fires. See? this RDA so much <laughs> and I'll try to do cloud checks for each um, preference of your power so currently we are firing at high so we're firing three lights right there and this is how it is once more That's so much cloud, you guys. That's so much cloud production. And let's try it once more. I just can't help it. Okay, so now let's fire it into high. From high to mid. So this is mid. We're firing two blinking lights. Hmm. Once 
floor. And now let's switch from medium to low, okay? So just click it three times. And let's fire it. Okay, so let's talk about how it performs. For me, I would say that this performs so well just because it has great cloud production. It also has flavorful taste and I just don't know, it sounds so crisp. I mean, it's always there. So if you guys are into using devices that are small but can produce a lot of clouds, I would recommend using Angus RDA. It is also flavorful. It's not compromising the flavor with the uh, cloud production. It produces so much cloud, but it also produces so much flavor when you bake it. So, just switching it back to I. There you go. Can you still see me guys? <laughs> There's so much cloud production within this Angus RDA and I love it because it has a steel body. So it's quite heavy. Unlike other pots that are small but are very lightweight. So this is kind of heavy for how tiny it looks. And it's quite thick than usual pods that are like half thick than this but I don't mind because it just performs so well it's so handy I mean I have a small hand but it fits my hand so well and another thing is the firing button I want to emphasize that because it's so nice to press it it's just so responsive and it has like I don't know what type of finish this is but it has like round things that you can fit your can fit your fingers so well feels so nice and the device again looks so classy I don't know other other um, colors but this black one looks so classy and elegant it's just see it's so shiny and it's heavy you will feel if this get lost <laughs> because of its heaviness and how the production of clouds and flavor is just so well. I'm telling you guys, I love this RDA from Nevox. Thank you so much, Carl Dizon, for trusting me to do this review. If not, I could have not experienced this Nevox Angus RDA. And if you guys want to try and buy some of these, you may check your local vape shops. It's already out in the market. And Thank you so much for staying tuned within this video. If you like this video, click like. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you get most recent updates for my uploads and we are uploading regularly. So thank you so much guys. I'll see you real soon. Vape safe and vape responsibly. Bye!